One of the many benefits of Carbon is the ability to continue working on your designs that were built in other programs, and refine further without having to draw from scratch. Here we are in a pl channeled plot inside of Vectorworks. Before we import this plot into Unreal, we must first make sure that we have our fixtures set up properly inside of Vectorworks. So first things first, we must verify that our fixtures are lighting devices and not just symbols. So if we select a fixture, we have to make sure that it is a lighting device in the Object Info Palette. Next, you will need to make sure that you have all the required fields filled out. So firstly, make sure that you have XYZ data for both the location and rotation. Next, make sure that you have the instrument type filled out correctly. This will ensure that Carbon can correctly identify the proper fixture. Finally, you want to make sure that each fixture has its own unique DMX patch data. So this includes the DMX universe. Most importantly, we need the channel number. Once you are sure that all fixtures have the correct data in it, we are now ready to export it out of Vectorworks so that we can properly import into Unreal. Now before we do any exporting, it is best practice to split our drawing into two separate files. One with lighting devices only, and the other with only geometry and no lighting. An easy way to do this is by using the Select Similar tool. So first, I'm going to create a Just Fixtures file. So I will select all the geometry, and then I will just simply delete it. Then I will go File, and then save a copy as, and I will name this one Fixtures. Now I will undo, and then I will do the same thing and delete all the fixtures so that we have a geometry only file. And I will save another copy, geometry. So we're gonna start in the geometry file. When importing from Vectorworks into Unreal, we have two options for geometry, either FBX or using Datasmith. We're going to go through both processes. So to export FBX, go to File, go to Export, and then Export FBX. We can leave everything as default, but I'm going to uncheck everything except for geometry as that's all we need. Now we can click Export, and then I will put it in this folder. To export Datasmith, you go to the same menu, File, Export, and then find Export Unreal Datasmith. Click this, and then you can choose the quality. So since it's just simple truss, I'm just going to go medium quality, and then you can click OK. And then again, choose which folder you'd like to save it at. Now that we have our geometry exported, we can now export fixture data. Now keep in mind that if you're using software that is not Vectorworks that does not support MVR, you can also export fixture data as a CSV spreadsheet file, and then you can also import that into Carbon. But for this case, we're going to use MVR. So we're going to go to File, go to Export, and then we're going to go Export MVR. We're going to uncheck everything but lighting device, and here we can see all of our fixture types. Once you're ready, we can hit OK. And again, choose the folder that you'd like to store the file. With all of the prep work out of the way, in the next video, we will bring these assets into Unreal using Carbon's tools. Depending on the complexity of your design, you may need to optimize your geometry using common 3D authoring tools like Blender, Maya, Cinema 4D, and etc. We'll cover this in a separate deep dive video in the future, but for now we're going to move on and import the sample geometry into Unreal.